boys and girls, come with me, here and see. Let me tell you what we're going to make. I'm not going to ask you to guess. I'm going to tell you today. I'm not going to even give you a hint of any kind. No, because uh, we're going to make a, a kind of sandwich which is just delicious. You like sandwiches? I like sandwiches. A lot of different kinds of sandwiches. But the one we're going to make today has three things in it besides bread. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get washed. Whoa, I stumbled over that, didn't I? Yes, I bumped it. Let's put it that way. I bumped it. And um, let me come back to the sandwich. Oh, it's such a good sandwich. It's made with two slices of bread, with lettuce, with uh, peanut butter, and with bananas. That's right. <gasps> well, you saw that I got washed, and this is what I stumbled over. There. And here is where we go. And, oh, I have everything all ready. One slice of bread and two slices of bread. You know what we're going to put on first? Peanut butter. Oh, do you? It's your favorite kind of sandwich. Well, I'm going to put peanut butter on one slice of bread. Not on both slices, but on one. But I want to be sure to get it all the way over to the edge. Sure. Oh, you do. When your mother packs the lunch for your brothers and sisters, she makes a peanut butter sandwich for you, too. Look, see? The peanut butter went all the way around, didn't it? Well, that's important. Now, what do you think I'm going to put on next? I'm going to take a banana. That's easy, isn't it? And I'm going to cut it right there. Well, your mother will do the cutting part. You may do the spreading. Not with a peel on. No. And a nice banana. And I'm going to cut it right in half like that. See? That wasn't hard. Now, and your mother will do the slicing. Right down like that. And then you may put the banana on the sandwich. Doesn't look good. We need some more. So let's put it right like this. Oh, well, I know Harvey likes sandwiches that are made of peanut butter and banana. This is extra. Yes, maybe when your mother's making a sandwich, if she's making only one, maybe you'll get this to eat. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think I'm going to put over here? Well, you know what this is? It's a head of lettuce that has been washed and broken. By that, no, not cut. It's been broken open. See? Yes, and we'll take some leaves of lettuce. Now, let's see, how many leaves of lettuce do we need? Oh, I'm making all kinds of noise here with things that are right here. Mm -hmm. And crack them a little bit more so they'll stay flat. Just break them. When the lettuce is crisp, they break so easily. Are you getting hungry? Ooh, I am too. Bread and lettuce. Bread peanut butter, and banana. Now, let's see if we can get them together. See, just like that. And look what a high sandwich it makes. Press it down gently, gently. And then what do you have to do? Cut it. Well, this is the part that your mother does because a sharp knife you never go near the sharp knife. No. I never went near sharp knives when I was young either. And little. Mm -hmm. No. No, let's cut it. It's easy. If the filling falls out, it's very easy to put back in. Mm -hmm. And, see? 
There. Now, all we need is a plate. And this plate has a picture of a rooster on it. Look at that. Oh, funny rooster. Sandwich number one covers up his head. Sandwich number two covers up his tail. Sandwich number three goes right there. And sandwich number four goes right there. Delicious. Oh, of course it does. It smells good, too. It smells like banana and peanut butter. What else? Well, lettuce doesn't smell like peanut butter and banana. No. What things were in that sandwich so that you'll be able to tell your brothers and sisters and mother and daddy? What? Bread, peanut butter, lettuce. You forgot what? We'll start again. Bread, peanut butter, lettuce, banana. There you got it that time. Wasn't that an easy sandwich to make? Now, a big sandwich, and when you cut it in four, it makes four small sandwiches. And it's such fun to have four small sandwiches. When you have four small sandwiches and you have a friend, or brother, sister, mother, daddy, do you say to them, would you like one? Do you? Sharing it then. Well, that's the important thing to remember, is to share all your goodies. One day when I was walking, you know, sometimes you like to go for a long walk or a short walk. And you always walk on the sidewalk, don't you? Unless you live way out in the country. Why, I saw several things when I was walking. Mm -hmm. The very first thing that I saw one day was something that looked like this. Not a tree. You think you do now? Well, I'm sure you do, boys and girls, because they were so big and they were all in a bunch and the man was holding on to them right about here. Balloons. Oh, you guessed it right away. Long balloons, shorter balloons, round balloons, <gasps> all kinds of shapes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then as I went on down the street, you know what I saw? And someone lived in there. And who do you think that someone was? There weren't any windows. There was a door, and it didn't have a door that closed. And the door was almost as big as the whole house. A great big dog. Oh, he was the biggest dog. Yeah, he was a great big St. Bernard dog. Brown and white. And his dog house was right next to the big house where the people lived. Well, those were just two of the things that I saw when I went down the street. And then, when I went on down the street, I saw a little boy and a little girl. And they were having the best time playing dressing up. Oh, were they having a good time dressing up. They had all kinds of things to put on their heads. Well, no, uh, not all of them were new. Some were old. And you know what I have here? I have a, the funniest dressing up hat. It really is funny. It's so big. Looks kind of like the lid of a garbage can. It's so big and deep and funny. But let me show you what holds it on. There's a little hat inside a great big straw hat. Oh, I love to dress up. And then there is this hat. And this is an old, old, old straw hat with uh, yarn ducks and daisies and more ducks. And it does. Mm -hmm. Looks just like straw. Mm -hmm. I'm hiding, I'm hiding. 
Yes, you do know where. This is to go under your chin. You tie it right there and it stays on. The wind blows and doesn't blow it off. Well, there are a lot of different kinds of hats, boys and girls. And here is one that is very strange and unusual. Well, this is not a real banana. Not like the kind that I made the sandwich. But it's a very big hat. Look at the banana hanging down. See? It's got leaves. You could wear it like this. And the banana is heavy, see? And so it always wants to go like this. And so it doesn't stay on very well. No, it musses your hair all up. You could wear it backwards like this and it stays on better. See? And tie it on. Looks kind of strange, doesn't it? To wear a banana on a hat. Well, when you're pretending and having such fun, boys and girls, you can have any kind of a hat. Here's a hat. Oh, it's one of my favorites, too. I know I have a lot of favorites. But this one is really made out of a lid to a box. Mm -hmm. It was a round hat box. And I just kept sewing things and sewing more flowers and more flowers. And then it wouldn't stay on no matter what I did. It just wouldn't stay on, and it still doesn't stay on very well unless I tie it and hold my head very straight because otherwise it falls. You have to tie it kind of tight because otherwise if you wiggle your head the wrong way, it comes off like that. It has a very long, long ribbon to tie it with. And then here's this hat. This hat came from a country far away too. Some of these came from other countries and some of them came from right around, yes, in the stores. But this is a bonnet. And it has braids. Mm -hmm. And you see, it's a hat with braids. And it makes you either into a long-haired girl with braids. But then there's one more here that I made a long time ago because it's such fun. Look at this. I'll tell your mother how to make it. And you pull it down if you want to be a girl with long hair and hair ribbons. Or if you want to have it like a scarf. Oh, you can just do anything you want to do with it. Braids, 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 and dressing up. If you want to have long braids like this, see, you just have long braids. And when you take it off, what happens to your hair? Why, if it's all messed up, you just comb it and push it, and it all comes back exactly where it was. Dressing up is a lot of fun. You know something else, boys and girls, that is just as much fun? It's very different from dressing up. And it's very different from cooking, and it's very different from drawing pictures and all the rest of the things. That is making a puzzle. You know what I did? I made a picture and cut it out. It's a picture of a bell. Mm -hmm. And I have a piece of shirt cardboard. Oh, just nice thin. And I'm going to glue my bell right onto this piece of cardboard. And then I'm going to make it into a puzzle. Oh, puzzles are such fun, aren't they? I turn the bell over, and I'm going to put a lot of glue on, not only around the edges, but everywhere, boys and girls, because if I just put the glue in the middle, then you know what would happen? What? Well, when I cut the puzzle, it has to stick. See? And so this is the important thing to be sure that the puzzle sticks. Press it down, just gently. You don't have to pound. Just press it gently and leave it there. You can't cut it right away. You have to leave it there for just, oh, well, you count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You can count. A lot higher than that. Well, good for you. See, now look what I have. Well, of course it is. It's a picture of a bell, and it's all stuck right where it should be. Now, I've hidden something under this piece of cardboard. When you make a puzzle, boys and girls, you need a scissors. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be fun to hide it so that you wouldn't see it first. And it's here. I like to hide things. You know that. Oh, yes. 
See, it's the one with a round. Oh, sure it is. Well, now, do you know what I want to do? I have to cut this into pieces like a puzzle. And no two pieces of a puzzle, boys and girls, are ever the same shape. Well, that's the important thing to remember when you make a puzzle. Don't make any two pieces the same shape. That's kind of a fun piece, isn't it? Only the handle. Mm -hmm. No. Well, we'll put that piece down. We'll try another piece. Now, how should I cut it this time? I think I'll cut it like this. You never would know that that was the bell, would you? A piece of a bell? Well, it's kind of hard to tell. Well, we made two pieces, haven't we? Now, here we go. Let's make this one into a piece that ziggles and zaggles. And ziggles some more. Well, that is a very strange piece, isn't it? Now, you see, no two pieces are alike, are they? No two. Let's cut one more, shall we? And we'll cut this one just straight like that. Now, let's hide our scissors so that I don't use it anymore. Otherwise, I might want to pick it up and, yes, and use it some more. Now, let's kind of stir these around. Well, I hope we'll be able to put it together again. We know that the handle is where? At the top. Let's move the glue and have lots of space. There's the handle right there. Now, let's see. Does this piece go like this? No. Couldn't. Does it go like this? No. Does it go like... Yes, it does. Those two pieces fit together because, look, see, the handle fits together. All right, now what happens? Where does this piece go? Like that? Doesn't look like it to me. Like this? That doesn't fit. Like, no. Over here? 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 No. Must go like, oh, look. It fits. Well, we have one, two, three pieces put together. So we have two more pieces that we have to put together. Now, let me see. Where do you think we need other pieces to make our bell complete? Do you know what complete means? To put it all together? Well, uh, this is an easy one. That's that ziggle, 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 ziggle. See, all those ones right there. Yes, a zigzag piece. Well, now, boys and girls, it's very easy because there's only one piece left. And, well, that can't be right. Nor that. Nor that. But this is right. One, two, three, four, five pieces of a bell puzzle. And we certainly will keep them. Oh! <gasps> Should say we will because puzzles are such fun, boys and girls. If you make one, be sure you cut each piece in a different shape. You know what we have? Oh, on our pegboard today, we have so many, many, many things. Look, a little tiny doll that came from Wales. That's far, far away. Mm -hmm. And here is the baby lamb. Mm -hmm. Yes, with a little tiny bell. Here is the what? the clown. But what kind of a clown? Clown bean bag. Goodness me, there is that great big old funny animal called Hippopotamus with his mouth wide open. And right up here, boys and girls, is a clown, but a very special clown. This is really a music box. And you wind the music box up by turning his nose. Is that funny?
You know what that was? Jack and Jill went up the hill, sure. Well, you know how slowly music boxes kind of stop playing, don't they? That's right. Let's look at some of the other things we have right here. Pictures, pasted on. Rain, picture with an umbrella. And a picture with flowers. And a jack-o'-lantern. And another clown. That's right. <gasps> we did. I know we did. We had a lot of things. Where? Oh, of course we did. Well, I don't know which one I liked the best. Which one did you like the best of all the different things we did this morning? Well, we made a sandwich. Ooh, a delicious one. Mm -hmm. Oh, we played with so many different things. I will. Will you tell your mother about them? Your brother, your sister, your grandmother, your daddy. Will you? Are they at home with you? Are they? Well, would you please go get them now? All right. <laughs> because I have several things I want to show to whoever's at home with you. This is a wonderful sandwich, and you can see it's kind of a big sandwich. Even the last little slice of bread here fell off. But uh, this is a very filling sandwich, a very nutritious sandwich that children like very, very much. They could help you make it. It's a wonderful sandwich to put in children's lunch boxes on their way to school or after they come home from school when they're very hungry. It is a peanut butter, banana, and lettuce sandwich. Oh, and more growing boys and girls have eaten more of these. They really turn out to be a, a lunch sandwich. Or whenever your youngsters, you know, are at the stage where they just want more and more and more and they never can get filled up, try this. Let the young children spread the peanut butter. You cut the banana and let them put it on. And then you break apart or wash the lettuce, let them put the leaves on and put the top slice of bread on, and then you do the cutting of the sandwich. Now, I, I outlined exactly who should do what for one very special reason, and that very special reason was this. Young children and older children need to participate, but they can do the things that do not take any cutting. Spreading with the table knife is so easy. Pushing the piece of banana gently into the peanut butter is very easy, and it gives them such a feeling of satisfaction. Let them help you do things like this, please. I have something else hiding behind me on the hassock here that I want to just pull out right quick like and show you. This is another part of dressing up, which is very important in the lives of children for many ages. I'm going to put it on even though it messes my hair up again because I did it with the children. This is made out of rug yarn, and it helps the little boy who wants to become a girl. It helps the little girl who wants long braids, who wants a scarf. You can see what it is. It is nothing more than rug yarn that has been braided. Now, you can do it with anything. You can do it with cloth that's been cut so that you can braid it. You can do it with anything that isn't too heavy. I wouldn't do it with wool because wool makes it terribly, terribly warm. And wind the braids around. Start and just keep on winding and end up with the other side. Got another braid. Hair ribbons, delightful. Wonderful for dressing up. And you and your child can do this together. An older child can make it for a younger child. Try it. Have fun doing it. I have to say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>